Hiya Peter, lovely to meet you again yesterday and do some work on your game. Just a quick recap on the session that we did. The problem that we have is, first of all, it's set up to accommodate your left knee problem. I'd suggest turning that left foot out just a little bit more. And you can experiment with that as you go, just to assist you in your ability to clear your left side during your downswing. Having said that, if we watch your backswing from the start to the finish, we can see from face on, spine very much up and down, nice and upright at that point. As we go back, hips tend to slide forward and we maintain what we call forward flexion for too long. So the hips would move well forward of where they were at address and the spine angle has been maintained a little bit too much. As a result, we now run the risk of hitting the ground behind the ball because the upper centre of the swing, your sternum, has translated back too much and wherever your body weight tends to be located, there's a good possibility that's where the club is going to hit the ground. In an attempt to prevent that happening, we become very good at bending the arms on the way through or standing up quickly on the way through to prevent the club digging in the ground. So we discussed what was lacking in this golf swing. So the way the spine works during your swing, it does three things. It rotates, it tilts to the left, and it extends or stands up. Now, when we look at a player who's in this sort of position at the top of his backswing, and we want him to get more centered, what we need to do is get that player to stand up more. So the move that we're lacking is an extension of the spine. If we can get the spine to extend more, that will get us in a more over the ball position at the top of the backswing and make it much easier to get back to the golf ball and control the low points and control the point at which the club hits the ground. So what we see here on the far right hand side is you now with the idea of a high jump bar being to your left and you're going to do the flop over the bar. So we watch as you take the club back, hips don't shoot forward quite as much a little bit more extension, much less retaining of the forward flex that you had at address, and as a result, a much more over the top of the golf ball look to that swing. As a result, you're able to get back onto the golf ball and don't need to bend the arms on the way through quite as much. So that was with the practice swing. If we look at it in general, with the ball in front of us, Again, turning, left tilting, extending. Much better position at the top, much freer. One of the things you talked about was your ability to keep your arms straight. Because the body is working better, this has freed up the arm movement on the way back. And now we could keep the arms straight and still have some length to the arc. Over here on the left hand side, if we were to keep the arms straight, we wouldn't get the club past chest height and as a result would lack any length to the golf swing. So the feeling that you've got to have is that you're doing the high jump, you've got to feel like you're extending more, standing up more as you take the club back, but continue to turn and left tilt as you go. Good luck with it and I look forward to working with you again in the coming weeks. Well done.